Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Mobile Gestures Dynasty. I'm your host, Cosmic Trash. Let's get right into it. Today we face off against the Clemson Tigers. This is a huge game for us in terms of college football playoff um, seeding. They are the 19th team in the nation while we are the 6th. We are right, currently ranked 8th. Um, this is another big SEC game. Um, right now, we are third in the SEC because we have one loss in the SEC. Um, we're behind Texas and Auburn. Hopefully, that hopefully Auburn and Texas will lose one game and not win out. Um, but we we have a uh, big game against Clemson in this one. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to beat them. We're gonna play the whole game in this one. Maybe we'll play a moments after. But uh, yeah, this is huge. We'll go uh, Mobile Gray today, and they're going to go with their home jerseys. Clemson has some, like, underrated jerseys. They just don't have a lot of variation, but they're very underrated. But we're going Mobile Gray here at the Carnival. And it is going to... It's raining here at the Carnival as the Clemson Tigers kick off as Isaiah Blade will return it. Blade. Look at Blade go. Blade with a return out to the 32 as Coach Adam Young walks on, watches on. David Cunningham um, in the, in the Heisman, is a Heisman finalist. He's not a Heisman favorite, but his receiver, Isaiah Blade, is. That's the big thing. When you, get a high, you have two Heisman candidates on your offense, it's absurd. Just making sure that everything was correct. We give off Cordell Worrylow, who gets completely annihilated by Brian Virgin. What a name. Pussy. Sorry. Had to do it to him. Cunningham to take the snap. Give Cordell Worrylow. Worrylow getting some blockers, and he moves forward as it's third and five. We're, again, still without Braden Lutman, so it's been an interesting change to the offense with who is the number one Target as Cunningham will find Goodly. Who the hell is Goodly? It's a good throw. Um, wow, that was actually a really good play. Low key, we're gonna have Hurley run a slant. Blade, try and beat him deep. Get rid of it. I I, I actually threw an interception there if I didn't get rid of the football. Kofi Genus getting to him there. Cunningham to take the snap. Give up Cordell Worrylow moving forward. It's third and four for the sophomore running back. Cunningham to take the snap. Looking. Finds Isaiah Blade. It's nothing. He doesn't even hang on. Now I'm wondering, do we go for two? Or do we, do we go for it on fourth down here? I don't know. Cunningham to take the snap. Tosses deep. Cool, oh my goodness, Jay Turpin. Incredible. Jay Turpin with a huge play. Getting us down at the one. And Cordell Worry Low, a yard shy. We're going to line up in a goal line set. And we're going to run QB sneak. Cunningham in the goal line. He gets stuffed at the at the one yard line. We're going third and goal. Cunningham finds Kevin Hurley at the goal line. Touchdown gestures. Good shit there. We're gonna boot it in. As it's seven nothing. Ten plays, sixty eight yard drive. Down for the gestures. <coughs> Excuse me. Hope you enjoy my sneeze. Big hits there by the gestures. Tyreek Ingold is the number one receiver for them. Um, our defensive best player is easily Tyler Dobbins. Um, had a standout freshman season, having a little bit of a sophomore slump, but he's still playing unbelievable. And there's Dobbins there to break that one up. The man in the hoodie looks so his his fucking he looks so stylish with that hoodie on. Let's 
Dobbins and Dalvin Hart together making a stop there. Dobbins might go to the NFL this year. Oh, Hart can't get it, but Craig Casavern breaks it up. A uh, good coverage by the gestures, and it's a cause for a three and out for the Clemson Tigers. There's the boot. Off. And Isaiah Blade goes down. Cunningham, the give. Cordell Worry Low, he's brought down second and ten. Cunningham rolling to his left. Finds Catula. I believe that was Catula. Actually, don't know who that was. Who's 86? Might not have been Catula. Nope, it wasn't Catula. I don't know who it was. Someone find that out. Okay, wait. Uh, just a crazy sack by Clemson. They got to me immediately. I'm wondering who 86 is. Oh. Kikaha. Couldn't tell you who that is. I know Mike Goodley is like a s slow tight or slow receiver. But we moved there. Wow. Kikaha is crazy. What a name. I mean, Katula is very Polynesian, but Kikaha? What are we doing? This seem, That seems like a slur. Cunningham looking. Oh, my God. Isaiah Blade's got a touchdown. Blade makes the play. Nobody's going to catch him. He's unbelievable. Isaiah Blade. Incredible. Uh, I have thought, like, who is better, Isaiah Blade or Zion Tompkins from Bay State? Honestly, it's probably Isaiah Blade, just on based on the pure fact of, like, Isaiah Blade isn't, like, just go deep. He's a do-everything receiver. Like, we hand it off to him. He can kind of go up and grab it if you need him to. He runs some good routes. He's a beast. Um, I feel like Zion Tompkins is a little bit more one-note. But nonetheless, let's kick off to the Clemson Tigers after they completely just couldn't stop us uh, offensively. To start the half. We stop him. Good shit. First and ten for Clemson. Okay, uh, I was trying to switch to 30 and I couldn't pick it. But whatever. Second and ten. Tigers, man in motion, watch the jet touch pass. It's not one. All right, that's fine. Sydney East, bro, you got to make that play. Tyler Dobbins is able to tackle him. Tyler Dobbins showing off his, uh, his athleticism there. Third and one. First and ten. Titus Cargyle. What a name. First and ten again for Clemson. Okay, uh, Dalvin Hart, you're lucky because you... Dalvin Hart got fucking annihilated on that play. He got pushed into a tackle. That's hilarious. Second and eight. Jay Crawford, the senior corner. You know we have five senior corners, by the way? Just wondering if you guys know that. It's five. Like, that's insane how many corners we have that are seniors. So we're going to be losing a lot of corner depth. Um, uh, yeah, so that's going to be annoying. But nonetheless, let's stop them. Dobbins, good shit. Third and two. Dominance and others stop him. Fourteen nothing. Good shit.
Unbelievable there. Good stop by our defense as Worrylow gains two yards. Yeah, Tyler Dobbins is absolutely out of control. He's so fucking good. Cunningham, the fake. Oh, my God. Almost intercepted because I tried to risk it. Cunningham has the most yards in college football. That's why he's considered for Heisman. Jay Turpin, the, the, the redshirt freshman. Turpin keeps going. Unbelievable, dude. He got so open immediately. Hey, if we play our cards right, we make it to see Kyrie Allen today. Fires, Jay Turpin. He makes the play. Cunningham on the stretch, giving to Cordell Worry Low, and Worry Low's brought down second and four. Give Worry Low. He's in. Touchdown, Jesters. Incredible. It is now 21 nothing. Hey, if we go up 28 nothing, I might have to just put in Kyrie Allen to play quarterback because I don't want David Cunningham getting hurt for no reason. But then then again, I also want Cunningham to climb the Heisman rankings. That's Fasano. Redshirt freshman uh receiver that honestly will probably play next year, maybe start next year. Has potential to at least. Broken up. Good shit. Good coverage. Dobbins is there on the tackle. Along with number 30. Sack. Let's go. Uze Green, the senior D-tackle, doing his thing there. We stop him. Freedom Smith, I believe, was there on the tackle. Good shit. He's kind of been quiet today. He's our best uh, edge rusher by a mile. Even though he's not even that high of an overall. He's just been so good. Third and 12 for Clemson. They're going to do a glitch, so I'm going to just call timeout for them. It was doing the glitch where they just don't snap the ball. So, gave them an out as it's third and 12. Come on. Good tackle. We're going to call timeout again. We want the ball back. Go, 20, go up 28 nothing going into the half. Are you kidding Blade brought down. Come on. Cunningham. Deep. Accidentally threw an interception to number 18, whoever that is. Katula just fucking annihilated him. Oh my god, is that a linebacker? Gene Johns with the interception. They score a touchdown. So it's 21-7 going into the half. And this will start the drive. I, 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 it was such an idiotic throw by me. Oh, my God. Try, I try to do too much. Dalvin Hart and Tyler Dobbins are there. Probably the best uh, linebacker duo in all of college football. Second and ten. Dobbins again, dude. He's so good. Doing push-ups on him. As Tyler Dobbins. I believe he has like seven tackles already. He's a fucking animal. Dobbins in on the tackle. 
Dalvin Hart doesn't know what to fucking cover. Which is funny because he has, like, the perfect speed and athleticism for a uh, coverage linebacker. Dobbins again on a tackle. Well, I'm wondering how many tackles he's going to have by the end of the game. Watch that play. Oh, my God. That could have been an interception of Dalvin Hart, and he could have had a pick six. Oh, wow. Uter, like, broke his foot. Yeah, they put Harrison or Ferrison. Yeah, do that. It's 21-7 right now. They're trying to run all over us, and it's sort of working. First and 10. Dobbins again, dude. He's so good at tackling. I don't think you'll ever see a guy like Tyler Dobbins again in Mobile. And the, the one thing I have with him, though, is he's probably going to leave after this season. Oh, what a play by me. Who was that? I don't know who that... Wait, let me look who that was. Who made this play? Was that Tarion? Oh, no, it's not. Who's 18 again? I forget who 18 is. But I know he's someone good. I mean, 18 is also Kevin Hurley. There's two 18s on our team. Eighteen. What the hell? Who is eighteen? Oh, Javion Randall. That's eighteen. That's our best overall corner, even though I think Jay Crawford probably takes that mantle, but a good play by uh, Javion Randall there. Third and six. Watch the touch pass. It's not going to be a touch pass here. Oh, that was a terrible read, by the way. That was, a, that was an awful read, but the, the, but somehow he was able to make the throw. He decided double coverage is better. Cunningham to take the snap. Looking. Oh my god, is that not an interception? Twenty one fourteen, second and ten. Cunningham, a man in motion. Oh my God, David. Deep blade turnaround. Oh my God. Okay, fourth and fourteen. I'm getting kind of, I'm kind of blowing this game right now. We're up twenty-one nothing, and now it's twenty-one fourteen. They're gonna get them getting the ball back. I need to get a first down. Nope. The, the 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 offense just couldn't block. This is a crazy loss if we lose. It's still the third quarter though. Second and five. Easy touchdown. For Clemson, they like walk into the end zone. Blade, get open. Katula, he's open. That's something. David Cunningham, the fake to worry low. Okay, that was a crazy throw. 
205 yards now as Alex Katula has done a solid job in relief of Braden Lutman. Look at Cordell Worrylow. Gain yards. That's a six-yard gain. Come on, Cordell. Cordell gaining two. It's actually a really good play considering what he the, the room he had. Come on, David. David Cunningham, all speed, all the time. He's brought down first and ten. Jesters. Get rid of it. Holy shit. Thank you, David. That's the end of the half. We are tied at 21. Going into the fourth. Oh my god, I, that was insane that he that he missed him. Damn, David Cunningham, you can't miss that throw. Cunningham, whoop! He's brought uh, pushed out of bounds. David Cunningham, incredible. Okay. Second and 13. <laughs> like, damn. Oh, my God. Jay Turpin gets into the end zone as Cunningham makes a great throw on the run. Turpin just stopped and waited for the ball. That was not the route that he was supposed to run. But you know what? It worked. 28-21. Here on the Tigers. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. But you know what? I guess we're scum kicking now. Good tackle. Down at the 31. That's actually not even that bad. First and 10. Okay, second and 5 now. Come on. Oh, I actually did not think that that's what they were doing. Okay, okay, I could have fucking annihilated him. Nick Dobbs getting away is very annoying. Especially since he's like a pocket passer, but that's okay. Third and two. Dobbins fighting through and not getting there is annoying. Jay Crawford, incredible. Good ass defense from Crawford. Second and seven. Okay, that wasn't even that bad of a play. Overstorm Brave actually might work against him because it's gonna cause him to to get nervous, especially since we have such Good ass linebackers that are quick. First and ten though. Nothing. I like that. I like that play against him because it just causes uh him to get nervous. Okay, but Jay Crawford doesn't know how to cover it, so maybe we can't run it. We can't run it if our uh receivers don't know how to cover. Is Jay is uh Tyler Dobbins injured? Because that's terrifying if if it's true. Good sack, Uze Green. Incredible. Nope, Dobbins is fine. Two-minute warning in this one. I mean, it's four-down territory at this point for them. It's second and 17. The defense needs to make a stop. Good tackle. That's Smith. Incredible. Third and 19 now.
Intercepted. Randall. Jumping the route. JV on Randall. The transfer makes a huge play. And we're just going to uh, start running the clock out now. Cunningham to take the snap. Cordell Worrylow getting maybe one yard. Second and nine now. Worry low. Look at Worry Low. Get a first down. End the game, bro. Cunningham to take the snap. Man in motion. It's Isaiah Blade. Blade, nothing there. Second and 14. Honestly, what do we end the game here? Can we end it? Third and 14. Cunningham to take the snap. Looks. Bombs it deep. Isaiah Blade. We're going to run up the score on him. Touchdown gestures. Incredible. Cunningham has four touchdowns today. Only on 21 attempts. That's kind of a wild stat. 35 to 21 lead. Oh my goodness. 12 completions, four touchdowns, bro. What a beast. 35 21, the defense did their job. Dalvin Hart, what are you doing? Just like a missile, Dalvin Hart rips the heart out of Clemson fans as we end the game. We allowed 21 straight, but then we just scored 14 again, and it was it was kind of an ugly win, but we do win, 35-21. David Cunningham with an all right game, not a great one. 57% completion percentage, four touchdowns, 276 yards for um, the quarterback. He has an interception in this game as well. Didn't really run that well. Cordell Worry lowered a touchdown, receiving Isaiah Blade three. Catches, two touchdowns on 117 yards. Jay Turpin at 104 yards with a touchdown. Gatula did his thing. Kevin Hurley had a one catch for a touchdown. Two sacks, though, from Uze Green. And ten tackles from Dalvin Hart. Ten from Tyler Dobbins. He had two TFLs as well. And Dalvin Hart also forced a fumble. Dalvin Hart went crazy in this one. <laughs> Yeah, forcing that fumble was wild. Okay, here we go. Pay it forward. We're doing that. DLs. Master motivator. Week 10, no commits? All right, bro. I guess. I guess. How are we down on championship contender? We're still sixth in the nation. We got UAB next. Um, don't know how we would be down on championship contender. That's kind of crazy. James Troop. We'll lose him. There's not a, a doubt in my mind that we're going to lose, or that we won't lose uh, Lee uh, Fisica, Fisago. Can't pronounce his name. Uh, wait, no, it is 15. Is there anyone else that we can put these 15 points into? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, they're all fucking quarterbacks. I don't need quarterbacks, really. 
Fine, I'll, I'll throw it on one of the quarterbacks. This dude, Kenyon Spiktik. Have I seen his scouting? He's cool. There, you get 10. I'll give you 10. That's all. Three star. You're small potatoes, bro. But this is the best uh, recruit we have probably in the class. Vernon Iorio, he's a beast. Either him or Vernon Ransom. The Vernon brothers. Those guys are going to be crazy together. And then Viliami Aquo, or Aquo, he might fucking start day one, depending on how we get, how our corners look next year, because we have five seniors. He has 97 speed. He only has 80, or he only has 73 man, though. But let's play the moments of this UAB game. We are at home. Um, this is a big, vi this is a big game. We just want to keep winning. We really just want to win out this, the, se uh, the rest of the season. Here we go, though. Red zone alert immediately. Bet. Oh, this is Braden Lutman's return game. No better, uh, no better gift for him coming back, but a touchdown. He's been out for four for four weeks. We've missed him. It's his senior campaign. It is going to be crazy not having him, honestly, because the the entire like ascension of this program has been due, has been starts and ends with Braden Lutman. I mean, it doesn't start and end, but, like, it started with Braden Lutman. His freshman year, he was unbelievable. His you know, sophomore year, he was unbelievable. His junior year, he was unbelievable, and we won a national championship. Uh, What's the flag there? Is it interference on them? Because I'm assuming it is. It is. Interference on UAB. This is a team that we used to play a lot because they were in the Sun Belt. <laughs> But now we're we've moved on to uh, bigger and better things. Touchdown, Isaiah Blade, the Heisman Trophy uh, finalist, or at least contender. He's a finalist. He's a beast. He gets open there and scores. Unbelievable that he was able to make that throw to his right. Incredible. First and goal from the one. Lutman, unbelievable that he caught that. Braden Lutman, his second of the day. Let's make a statement out of these kids. Ooh. Lutman makes the play. Braden Lutman, and he gets a first down at the 17. Unbelievable that we were able to make that play. Ooh, yeah, that was a, that was a dangerous throw. That actually could have been an interception if you if you didn't go for, for the block, uh, the uh, deflection. Lutman on the corner route makes the play at the one. Cunningham finding Braden Lutman. It's twenty-eight nothing. Unbelievable. UAB doesn't know how to play D or play offense against us. They've only had two first downs the whole game. Tossing deep. Isaiah Blade just cooked him. Blade is ridiculous. That was insane. We're in the first first half still. It's thirty-five nothing on UAB, a team that is ranked. Yeah, we're disgusting. They're the 24th team in the nation. This is who you give us, bro? Come on. It's almost sad. Isaiah Blade rolling to his left. And he is brought down. He has seven runs, 58 yards. To be honest, uh, after this this play, we, we probably should put in Kyrie Allen after this drive. I mean, Jay Turpin's going to score, or at least get open here. Turpin, he gets open. That's five touchdowns from David Cunningham today. 
Hope Kyrie Allen's in. No, he's not. 38 nothing. All right, let's get rid of the at least get rid of Kyrie or of, of David Cunningham. Put Kyrie Allen in. Put the running back uh, Eric Bram in. Let's take Isaiah Blade out, put Fasano in. Turp in this or this is what we'll do. We'll put Fasano there. George Trask. We'll have Higgins on the deep threats. And then we're going to put Fasano in at slot receiver now. At least on offense, I want to do this. He's actually the best uh, slot quarter uh, slot receiver on the team. I would also like to see Joey Kane. Because we have seen what Kyrie Allen is, but you know, it's okay. And then we'll do power back. Dorian Vaughn, sure. Uh, and then Eric Bram. Okay. That's the next time we see the team. Red zone alert. The scrubs are in. I forgot to put the tight ends. I forgot to swap the tight ends out. Hold up. Kyrie Allen will never see uh, Braden Lutman, which is kind of sad. But whatever. Holy crap. Bad throw. <laughs> that was a horrible read. I threw to George Trask. Uh, that was not the read at all. Did not see the linebacker come down. That could have been interception. Easy. Um, did Texas lose yet? Nope, they haven't lost. Come on, Kyrie. Yep, he's just getting chased. Not great. Trask, get open. You have fucking speed. I mean, Lutman's open, and he's in. Braden Lutman in his return game. He even catches a touchdown from Kyrie Allen. That's hilarious. Uh, is this a shutout? Yep, 48 nothing. We're going crazy right now. This is a disgusting display of fucking bad sportsmanship. He's in, Vaughn. Kyrie Allen's tossing touchdowns. Fifty-five to three. I'm kind of pissed we uh, lose the shutout, but you know what? It's okay. David Cunningham threw five touchdowns. He was absolutely gross today. Um, Kyrie, Allen, we even got to see some of Kyrie Allen, which was fun. He's going to be the starter next year. He's, I'm telling you that right now. Kyrie Allen is our starter next year, no matter what. At least to start the year. I mean, we will have uh, a good backup quarterback as well in uh, Kane. Um, who, who will be the backup? Uh, yeah. But Kyrie Allen, 3 for 4, 40 yards and 2 touchdowns. Looked good. David Cunningham. And that was against uh, the... That was definitely against UAB starters as well. David Cunningham, 5 touchdowns on 18 for 23. 70% percent completion percentage. He also ran for 61 yards. Warrior did his thing. Bram did his thing as well. Receiving. Braden Lutman in his return game. He went off. He actually went crazy. 9 grabs, 110 yards and 4 touchdowns. And then 4... Catches 81 yards for Blade. Turpin at 102 on six grabs. Defense. I'm looking at the defense did. Dobbins a sack. Uze Green got injured. That's not good. DJ Uter, Dalvin Hart, and Freedom Smith. And we had one interception from Alfonso Westfall. Um, but yeah. Just a pre yeah, it was a it looked it was a good game. A good little like just a, just a good committing of murder on national television right there. But at quarterback, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Joey Kane, he is um, like Kyrie Allen, day one starter, 100%. But if, if Kyrie Allen's not playing well, if I don't like how he feels, and we throw we, we can throw Joey Kane in there. Because Kane is, we're grooming him to be a starter for at least a year. If, I mean, unless Kyrie, like if Kyrie Allen wants to go to the pros after his junior campaign, 
um, because he like plays well. Then we'll, it'll be great to have uh, Joey Kane there to play as a junior, but or, or uh, as a sophomore. Oh yeah, for his junior year. But yeah, nonetheless, let's advance the week. See if we get anyone. We absolutely annihilated UAB there. Like fifty-five three is crazy. We get Alfonso Wilkins, four-star right guard, four-star right outside linebacker James Troop as well. Lee Fisago, the inevitable happens where he commits to Tennessee. We are now the number four team in the nation. Praden Lutman gets SEC Offensive Player of the Week. And we get A&M this week now. Uh, that, that should be a pretty easy game. They're not good. So what do we got? We got A&M and then Mississippi State to finish off the year. We'll, we'll finish off the year in the, in the next one. We have caused the downfall of Clemson, though. And Texas has lost. We're in the, we're in the, we're in the SEC Championship now. There's no way we're not, because Texas lost. Right? Right? What? Arkansas? Okay, they're number one. Makes sense. Damn, bro. Really? Auburn lost! Oh, they didn't lose in conference. Is I'm wondering, can we check schedule in the SEC? Whoa, wait. Auburn at Arkansas. Whoever loses this game gets knocked down and we go up. So you know what? We're fine. Six and one versus five and one. We're a five and one team in the SEC right now. Wow, the SEC is a fucking bloodbath, dude. If you look at the teams that are here, like we're arguably number one. We're the defending national champions. We kind of should be number one, but nonetheless, let's just look at the Heisman's quickly. Heisman watch. Isaiah Blade is still there. Cunningham is moving up the charts. But Blade is still having touchdowns. The thing the thing that I feel bad for Cunningham is, like, as well as Cunningham plays, Blade, like, is usually who he's throwing to. We killed UAB 55-3, to and he, was, he threw two touchdowns to Blade. But So that's going to up him on the Heisman. But Cunningham is the one throwing them and making all the plays. I don't know. It's very possible that, I, that he gets fucked over. But whatever. Player of the year, Isaiah Blade is going to win that. Head coach of the year, I'm not even in the contention. I'm 12th. How is that great? How is that possible? Best quarterback, I don't see how Cunningham doesn't win it, but whatever. Best defensive player, Freedom Smith is still there. Best D-back, is there any, anything here? Best running back, there's no way we'll have anyone. Best receiver, Blade is there. He's going to win the Blitnikoff. Lombardi Award, Freedom Smith. Best defensive lineman, wow. United's golden arm. I don't. Yeah, Cunningham's the front runner for that. He'll at least win that. Best D end. Smith got it again. Uh, best tight end. How is Braden Lutman gonna miss four games and still win it? Nah, that's one of the craziest years ever. Cause what did Lutman have in the last one? I guess he puts up like receiver stats at tight end. But forty four touchdowns and eleven picks is kind of crazy. Cunningham's having his best year of his career. Cordell Worrylow only has two touchdowns, though. He's going to have 1,000 yards, though. Worrylow, good, good shit. Good shit, Cordell. Nine touchdowns for Cunningham, that's why. Oh, Blade has um, 1,700 yards, 20 touchdowns. Yeah, that's disgusting. But Braden Lutman only has 600 yards. He's not even going to finish with 1,000, probably, unless he... I mean, he could, depending on if we play in the college football playoff, but... Blade has missed a few games, too, which is the craziest part. Katula did well in his absence. Jay Turpin has honestly done really well um, this season as a freshman. So he's going to be a focal point of this offense for the rest of his career. Uh, there's a really good chance Blade leaves for the uh, for the NFL, though. So we, we it's a good thing that we have all the depth at receiver. But I've kind of been yapping. Um, with all that being said, we're going to see you in the next one where we finish off the season. And hopefully we'll be in the SEC Championship. Peace.